Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great. Today I'm making a video out of my car. And uh, anyway, this is a GPS for a dear customer of mine from Australia. And um, this is custom made for him. He wanted to use it in the car, which I am, and with 12 volt input, obviously. So he can just hook it up to his switched ignition, uh, 12 volt output, and then don't have to worry about turning it on and off or leaving, forgetting it on or whatever. And um, yes, this has the carbon fiber front of it. It's a 1.3 inch OLED display, similar to these displays over there. Actually, let me can leave this here without dropping it that's my canvas gauge my gear indicator and this is my V gauge and these are also OLED displays <coughs> excuse me and I have this in my car I think for over three years now and uh, as you see they still work so no worries about all all that displays using them in the car and this is a um, IPS display and it's also holding up to the heat here that aluminum case gets actually so hot in summer that I cannot touch it with my bare fingers but anyway um, well, since I'm holding the phone in my hand, I cannot really show the different screens. I try to. That's my low washer fluid warning. Let me try to show the time. I also don't have my glasses on. Um, so, anyway, I did adjust it for his time zone. So, it's uh, past 12 o'clock uh, in Australia right now. Obviously not that late over here since we have set down sunlight. So this is the first screen which shows uh, altitude in meters. The satellites received eight of them. Uh, speed in kilometers obviously, time and date. And here you have the cardinals in letters. You can also switch it to degrees by holding the button here. And as you see, it did switch to degrees, the compass, compass. So, and the compass obviously only shows correct if you're moving, when the GPS knows which direction you're actually going. <clears throat> so the second screen is where you can save your current location and then it shows the distance traveled. Right now I did not save any of this uh, location. The next screen is the trip summary, which shows you how much you traveled. Um, sorry about that, that was my low pressure tire warning. <coughs> this shows the overall distance traveled. I had this running in the house, so obviously if you have uh, less than ideal received satellites, uh, it does wonder and that's why it accumulated to uh, 548 meters and the uh, <clears throat> last screen shows the battery which is obviously <clears throat> i'm sorry the battery of the module itself and satellites time 24 hour mode and you can switch that actually if you want to by long pressing it oh no yes long pressing it and then it switches to actually short pressing it switches it to 12 hour mode yes long pressing it brings you to the time zone adjustment screen select time zone so he has positive 10 hours and then you can select it by pushing it in and then uh, pushing it down it will set it so we set it again to 10 hours and that's his time zone 
and the next screen is again <coughs> sorry about my dry throat next screen is the main screen and it does of course save the screen that you leave it so if I would turn it off and turn it back on it will show the screen again so anyway um, that was it this time for my car hope you like it if you want have any questions please leave them in the comments link to my store is in the description and i'm trying to get the camera I'll hold my phone with the other hand again so anyway this was it take care everybody